Hey, thanks for tuning in. Now, if you're a bass guitar fanatic, then you've got to know about the one and only Jaco Pastorius, a true legend who shook the bass guitar world to the core over four decades ago. His first solo record in 1975 changed the game for everyone who picked up the instrument, from funky syncopated grooves to blistering bebop solos. He had this insane technique that could crank out the most mind-blowing 16th note patterns and take any band to the next level. Today we're delving deep into Jocko's signature style, so grab your bass and let's go on this wild ride together. You're definitely not going to want to miss this one, my friends. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about a bass guitar technique that's going to add some serious power to your playing. It's based on what I call the climb up pattern. Now this technique is found in all kinds of bass styles and it's all about leading up to the fifth and the root of the chord using double chromatic approach note combinations. So what you want to do is start from the root and move up to the third. So far so good, but this is where it starts to get interesting because from there you're going to play a double chromatic approach note from below into the fifth. And then to turn the heat up a little bit, you're going to play the six followed by another double chromatic approach from below leading us back to the root. So using eighth notes as our rhythm, this is what it's going to sound like. And guess the news, the pattern just repeats itself. Right now we're just using eighth notes to play this, but trust me, once we start adding 16th notes to the mix and increase the tempo to where we want to get it, this becomes a perpetual pattern that's like a never ending stairway to bass heaven. Now stay with me. Okay guys, so now it's time to take things up a notch. The next step is all about adding some serious speed to your playing. We're talking about 16th notes, and I'm going to show you how to do it like a pro. Okay, so here's how this works. You simply play two repeated notes in the space where we previously only had one eighth note. It's all about alternating your right hand fingers, maximizing your time, and making sure that every note counts. Watch closely as I put this together because this is where the magic starts to happen. <laughs> Now with 16th notes, you'll be able to create some serious energy and really get your listeners' hearts pumping. It's an essential technique for any bass player who wants to emulate that Jocko high energy funk sound. So let's get to it guys and get ready to feel the power of 16th notes. Okay, so the next step is going to be about adding some serious firepower to your arsenal by introducing articulations like dead notes and hammer-ons. Now this technique is all about taking the 16th notes that we've already learned and making them sound even more dynamic. So from the root and the third, we're going to play two 16th notes each, but that's just the beginning. From the first note of the double chromatic approach, we're going to play a normal note followed by a dead note. And then from the note a half step below the fifth, we're going to play a normal note followed by a hammer on into the fifth. It's all about adding depth and dimension to your playing. And trust me, your listeners are definitely going to dig this. But we're not done yet. Starting from the six, we're going to repeat that exact same note sequence back up to the root. It's a powerful pattern that's going to take your playing to new heights. Check it out. <laughs> Now after a while the goal is just to be free with this kind of thing and just learn to feel what sounds good. But this is where you need to start. Get ready to unleash your inner bass warrior and let's do this thing properly. Okay so listen up, now that we've got the basics down it's time to switch it up a bit. We'll still be hitting the same notes but every now and again instead of climbing up to the six we're going to switch directions and go down and from the root instead of going up to the third we can also go down. There's a bunch of options to play around with, so just experiment and see what you can come up with. Now 
Now that we put all the elements in place, let's listen to how this groove sounds in a real musical context. So if this lesson helped you out, show me some love and smack that like button, subscribe, or drop me a comment below. You know, playing fast 16th on funk grooves is no joke. It takes serious dedication and practice to master this skill. So if you really want to take it to the next level, then you've got to get my book, Killer Finger Funk Grooves. You can download that bad boy right now by clicking the link over here. Check it out. Socrates said, know thyself, and he wasn't wrong. You gotta know your limits and strengths when it comes to playing bass. As bass players, we've got two jobs. Lay down sick bass lines and bust out the occasional solo. And to do that, you've gotta have the technique to back it up when the pressure's really on. So make sure to put in the work and stay true to yourself. Until next time, practice smart, work hard, and play creatively. <laughs>